Hello, Hopkinton High School, and welcome to HHS Today. We're your hosts, Andrew Moore and Kinsley Ralph. Once again, we have an exciting episode for you guys today. HHS Today is separated in two separate teams, Team Mac and Team Kinsley. In last week's episode, we revealed that these two teams will be dueling it over the next couple episodes in a series of friendly competitions. That's right. Last week, you got to meet Team Kingsley, and this week, you should be excited to meet Team Mac. Connor Kelly, and I do a lot of editing and filming. Hi, I'm Lizzie, and I run the Instagram. Hi, I'm Andrew, and I don't do much. I'm Jeffrey Toko, and I uh, do the end credits. I'm Drew Saperichitz, and I'm the main QOTD producer. I'm Tyler from HHS Today, and I enjoy editing segments. Hi, my name's Aiden, and uh, in this class I enjoy editing. Hi, I'm Jack, and I work on the questions of the day. Uh, I'm Mac, I'm the team leader, and I make sure everybody's doing their job, uh, as well as sometimes anchoring and helping out with the segments. I'm Robbie, and I do whatever Mr. Lind uh, commands of me. Wow, that looks like one tough team to beat. And a handsome one as well, if I say so myself. For our next segment, we are going to talk to one of the friendliest teachers in the school, Ms. Fournier. And we are going to get the inside scoop on what makes her class game design so fun. Exciting. What do you enjoy about teaching this class? Uh, it's a really fun class. We get to play a lot of board games, also a lot of video games. Um, and I think I can honestly say that every student I have in this class uh, has enjoyed themselves this semester. We get to use a bunch of different tools. What is your favorite project that you have had your students work on? Um, it's our Twine story. We're using a tool called Twine to build interactive fiction text-based narrative games, um, kind of reminiscent of the colossal cave adventure of the 1970s. So they basically come up with a story idea all their own, and then they get to sort of make a choose-your-own-adventure game within this Twine tool, and they get to incorporate some of the coding that they've learned. What do students learn in your class? Uh, we talk a lot about game theory and how to sort of look at games from, um, I guess, an objective lens. We try to think about how uh, game theory sort of dictates um, how a game is played, how players interact with one another, um, what the goal of the game is, if there's any cultural influences. Um, so we try to look at it from a more critical lens than just playing the game. Interesting and very cool. I would love to be a part of that class. I would love to as well, and thankfully, it's open for any students who want to sign up. All right, moving on. Now we have, hmm, I can't seem to remember because I can't stop thinking about this beautiful weather we are having. Oh, that's right. Next, we have the weather segment. Let's cut to the weatherman, Robbie Bernardin, reporting from the scene. Hello, friends, and welcome back to another Outdoors episode. Hi, my name is Jeffrey, and uh, we are out here in the uh, wild behind Hopkins in High School. And if uh, you look above me, we have one of our own, Robbie Bernardin. Nature is beautiful. Over here, we have uh, Robbie, Sappy, uh, Lexi, and Megan uh, playing a little uh, kickball or something. In the background, you have the uh, friendly eighth graders just grinding on their uh, active choice. This is the wheat I found in the fields. It's freshly farmed and harvested, ready to eat. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is going on here? Let's hope the sun keeps shining through the end of the school year. To be honest, I think my tan is starting to come in. You think so? We're a bit pale. Well, that's a wrap. Craving more HHS Today? Visit our website at hhs.today to see extra web-only content. Thank you for watching, fellow students and teachers. See you next time.